Excellent result. You must be well pleased. Yeah, yeah, that was the order of the day. We needed to uh, to win today. That's what we've been able to do. We we played better in recent weeks, and I'm not getting anything out of the games. I would argue that our performance against Chelsea was probably better in terms of general play. But we beat four 0 in that one today. I didn't really dominate as much as I felt we we should have done, but uh, doesn't really matter now. The, the key was to get uh, maximum points, and that's what we've been able to do. I feel disappointed for this goal. That was unlucky action for us, changed completely the history of the game because I think we put them under pressure even from, from the beginning, the first half, controlling the ball and in the second half we were much better, pushing them and after our goal I think we were much better than them and in this moment I think we were more close to, to win the game than to lose but it's part of the football, we concede a soft goal and it's something that we had to improve but we show character, we play I think we control the ball, we move them, we never give them except a couple of counter-attack uh, with Shakiri that is a clever player, always in looking for spaces behind our midfielder. In general, I can't say nothing uh, about our attitude, about our energy, but more or less it's, it's the same history that the other day. No? And when we play well, we put them under pressure, but we come back at home with zero point. I mean, Crouch is invaluable, I mean, he's a great guy. A fantastic personality to have within your club first and foremost and obviously his ability as a player goes without saying he's been doing that kind of thing all through his career. I probably frustrate him on occasions because he still wants to play, he still wants to start and more often than not I, I keep him back and have him as an option as an impact sub but I have to say when he does come on late in games he will always affect opposition defences because he, he gives them a problem that they have to deal with and for the most part they, they struggle to do it just because of the qualities that he has and the, his physical attribute. His physical attributes haven't waned to any great extent. He's, his game's not based on pace as we know so uh, he's still doing the things that he was doing at 26-27 and as long as he maintains that he's, he's always going to be effective at this level. I played till I, th I was 38 didn't like to, to miss any training session because I knew if I did then then my levels would drop and I think Pete understands that as well. There was a, a small disagreement on the touchline which the referee had to get involved with with you and Mark Hughes. What, what was that all about? No, no, just I wanted to, to, to take the ball in this moment because you know we play we just with one ball and I left my zone. The only thing that I did was to left my son. No any problem. I don't have any problem with, with Mark. I respect the referee, I respect Mark. Nothing happens. On the day, sometimes it's it's who grabs the ball first and who takes responsibility and fair play to him. In the past, we've, we've had Marco Anatovic taking penalties, we've had Charlie, they, they obviously weren't available, so Shaq as well might have been an option. But Saibu took the ball and I think all the guys were willing him to, to score the penalty, so that's that's why he took it. Fair play to him, he showed personality and, and took responsibility, grabbing the ball and, and we, we were all willing him to score. I mean, he's. He's working hard and he's, he's just trying to get a break and once it comes he'll be off and running but at the moment that initial goal for us is, is a little bit elusive unfortunately. It's a shin, knee or backside, who knows but when it comes that will get him off and running I'm sure.